I'm going to give you a tour of the 2951 Invictus Drake Interplanetary Expo Hall, and we're starting right now. Thank you so much to all the supporters that make this channel possible. What's up citizens, this is Subliminal here, and in this guide to the galaxy, I'll give you a tour of the Drake Expo Hall with my commentary on the ships displayed. I will also cover the pledge store and the available ships there with my thoughts as well. This was recorded live and the info is taken off the top of my head and it's not intended to be an accurate source of information, rather just my opinions on the ships displayed and their roles in the verse. Stay tuned to the end for details on this month's ship giveaway. Uh, Alright boys, so now we're here at the Drake Expo Hall. And actually, uh, for this one, I want to turn around. They have the Traveler Traveler's Rental Station um, here, where you can rent all the ships that have been on display for this event. Um, let me see how... Oh, two days. You can rent it for two days. Uh, go ahead and rent the, the lag, lag claimer. Um, okay. Got to beat the music. All right. Um... Yeah, so let's uh let's take a look at the hall. So that's pretty cool that you can do that for the next couple days. And if you rent something tomorrow, then you get to keep it for, you know, it's 24 hours from whenever you rent it. So you could do something like tomorrow night or whenever. I don't know when when is this going to end? They're probably going to extend it a couple days past I don't know. June 1st, right? Okay, so we got 2 days. Um all right. So, yeah, we're here at the Drake Drake Hall. Pretty dope. Um definitely coordinated with the uh with the event here today. Okay, all right. So we've got we've got cutties on each side, on each sides. Cutty to the left of me, cutty to the right of me. Um, uh, I guess we'll go around clockwise. Um, so the first ship we have here, actually, let's see if there's anything over here. Nope, nothing. All right. Uh, got the cutty black. I mean, everybody knows about this ship. Um, uh, little known fact: if you've ever wondered what these are for, it's going to be for uh, tractor cannon tractor beam i forget you know the thing you can use to pick stuff up with uh tractor beam tractor beam you can attach you'll be able to attach one in the future so a uh, great multi-crew ship um great for those intermediate um like starter ships if you if you have the budget for 100 bucks it's a good ship lots of cargo room for doing some small trading uh plenty of room to put land vehicles in um and it's got a size like four turret with two size threes on it up there. Um, Pilot has four size threes at its disposal. So pretty good. It's actually pretty agile for like its size. Oh my Jesus. Um, and uh, yeah, but you guys know the Cuddy Black. Cuddy Red is the um, is the best drop ship in the game right now, hands down. It's the variant that has the med bays inside. I'll go take a look at it real quick, quick in case there's anybody here. My frames are really bad today. Um, yeah, you have your your. Uh oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. All right. You can uh, you can set your ICU here. So basically, like if you die, you'll spawn in this bed as long as the ship is close enough to you. Um, the rest after this door is the same, except it doesn't have a turret. So you sacrifice a turret for being able to revive here if you die. So this is essential for doing bunker missions, in my opinion. Um, like I said, it's the best drop ship in the game. Um, the next we have the Cuddy Blue. The Cuddy Blue is the basically police interceptor variant of the Cuddy Black. Um, you get about 12 SCU. You get 12 um, cryopods to store your your warm bounties. Well, your cold warm bounty. You know what I'm talking about. So that's gonna be pretty cool gameplay in the future. You still do have the turret. So it's basically just a a, um, a Cuddy without the cargo space. Um, from what I've heard, you can still get a rock in here. Um, it's kind of a tight fit, but you can get a rock in here from what I've heard. Um, so yeah, um, pretty important ship. Um, probably not as important as the Cuddy Red, but especially if you're, um, uh, have like a fleet of pirates or whatever. Um, we got the Buck, the, uh, the glass cannon life fighter from Drake with the, um, Fixed size four up top. Got some size threes, some size ones. It's, it's pretty armed to the teeth. It's very fast in, especially in the forward direction, less so in the other directions. But um, it's a it's a quick little ship. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I recommend everybody kind of try it out. It's a, it's a, it's a good, good little little life fighter. 
Uh, let's head, uh, let's see, what's on this side? Oh, yeah. We've got everybody's favorite flyable JPEG. The Drake Herald. The data runner ship. Um, what, what I really, what really intrigued me about this is that you can actually physically move data. Which is pretty crazy to me. I'm surprised that, like, this far in the future you'd be physically moving any data. Um, but that's one of the aspects of data that you'll actually be able to pick up physical, um, items. Um, I guess it's safer that way so it can't be hacked or intercepted. Um... Definitely only fast. I wouldn't even say it's fast in one direction. I would say it's only maneuverable in one direction. This is literally like flying a brick. Um, it's probably got to be somewhere along the lines of like flying a, a, a caterpillar, uh, you know, uh, module as, as an actual spaceship. Huge engines. It's just a rocket with, with a cockpit attached to it. Uh, it's ridiculous. This is like typical Drake stuff, right? It's like that guy who builds the rocket because, you know, he, he, he's a flat earther and he wants to get up into the Atmo and then boom, he's, he's gone now. He's no, he's no more. Uh, all right. So, um, over here in the hollow area, we've got the Kraken, um, sold out today within like the first 10 minutes. Um, yeah, Kraken available to take a look at in the hologram thing. You've probably all seen this. Oh, cool. They've got, like, cooler, like, little stations than the rest of them. Um, yeah. Got the Kraken. The, 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 the fleet carrier going to be able to put a bunch of light fighters and stuff on there. It's, I, I can't wait for this to come into the game. That'd be pretty dope. For not only for it to come into the game, but then actually also ha actually have a purpose, it'd be pretty dope. Drake, Dragonfly. I hate bikes. I hate the, the the flight mechanics of them or the driving mechanics. Here's the Vulture. Uh, I talked about. Uh, I'll talk about this in the um, the pledge store thing. But you can actually get a Prospector and a Buc Buccaneer loaner for this. It's a salvage ship made by Drake. Uh, pretty cool. It it's in the roadmap like the progress tracker because um, I want to say it's probably going to come out when salvaging comes out because. I don't think they'll have the reclaimer ready to salvage first. I think it'd be better to just get it in the, get get this in there first. But um, but yeah, um, this is gonna this is basically the is the prospector going. for salvaging. So um, and we might be able to be flying this maybe Q1 next year. So I'm excited about that. And then we have the Corsair, my favorite Drake ship. NPCs standing in floors. Um, yeah, we got the Drake Corsair. Uh, just read up on this actually a little bit because I'm considering buying one. You've got a, a remote tour with two size twos. Okay. Under the wings, you've got um, a ton of missiles under there. Um, this wing has size fours, I believe. I'm going to pull it up. So... Um, the hard points are two size fours or gimbaled size threes on the wing on the left side. So there's two there. And then there's four size fives in the front. These are pilot controlled. I guess that must be the ones that are under here. Um, or they could, they could be, you know, size four gimbaled. And then there's two turrets with size two guns. That must be these turrets here. Why, why do I see extra weapons? Oh, no, no, no. Four side. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is ridiculous. Four size fives. One, two, three. There's four size fives. Plus two size fours for the, for the, um, all pilot control. Oh. And it's got these little pea shooters on the side. Wow, that's that's ridiculous. That's dangerous. This is Drake's answer to the to the constellation. Um, it is a it's an exploration ship made by Drake, which is pretty crazy because you wouldn't think that a Drake ship would like hold up long enough to like travel that far across the verse because it's made out of garbage. But like, yeah, this is my favorite Drake ship. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, like exploration, like really? Like, wh what are you exploring? Who explores like this? Have you not watched Star Trek? This is definitely not like the prime directive fucking exploring right here.
Like, are you trying to find God and then take him out? What are you exploring? Exploring Vandal space. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> shooting holes. Exploring shooting holes in the enemies. Oh, I'm not done yet. We gotta go. We gotta show off the caterpillar. Um, yeah. So uh, back out, out here, the last thing we got on the showroom floor is the Drake caterpillar. You guys have probably all seen this ship. Um, as of right now, I think the only reason to own one is for this future modularity. Um, the Retaliator is going to be the first modular ship that we're going to see, so this won't be. But um, the modularity will be pretty cool um, to be able to change out these pods in there. That'd be pretty dope. But I think as of right now, man, that C2 kind of took the king of trade. Um, you know, it's more durable. The C2 is more durable. You're going to be able to last a lot longer. It's probably the most important thing is to pirate a C2, you're going to need torps or a lot of people. And, um, you know... Yeah, so uh, one cool fun fact about this. Uh, I thought about this yesterday. I was talking to, I forgot who I was talking to. Maybe it was on stream. Maybe it wasn't yesterday. Maybe it was the day before that. But what would be really dope is that this command module, if it could be, rem it can be removed. First off, I already know it can be removed. But how dope would it be to have a pirate fleet that just flew around with these? And then like you, you pirate someone else's um, caterpillar. You destroy their module and you just attach yours and just take their cargo. Like, how dope would that be? That'd be so dope. Right, so, uh, today is Drake Day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to the pledge store. I'm recording this first before I hop into the verse. Um, all right, Drake Defense Con. Just got the, the one manufactured today, the finale. Drake Caterpillar, where 10 year insurance is the, uh, is the CC, the Warbond CCU of the day. Pretty good. Um, what's the, what's the upgrade price on? Hmm. 275. 275. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, back. um, yeah, Cutlass Black. Um, if you're a Drake fan, it's still a capable cargo ship, you know? Um, I, I made the, the jump over to the C2, but, uh, you know, to each throne, we've got the, um, the Drake Dragonfly. Um, I don't like this thing. I hate all the bikes. <laughs> They're so jank. Um, we got the Herald, uh, the, uh, one of the, one of the few flyable JPEGs that we have in the game. Um. It'd be nice if that ship becomes viable. If you could just hack Comrades with it, it'd be uh be pretty dope. Um, the Drake Buccaneer. I've been seeing a lot of people flying this a lot lately. Um, it's got a lot of firepower on it. It's uh it's a glass cannon, but in this uh, desync meta, uh, it's not it's not all that bad. I don't know. I'd probably rather be in. I, I definitely would rather be in like an Arrow or a Talon. But like I can I can respect somebody for flying it. Uh, Cuddy Black, 100 bucks. Yeah, everybody knows about the Cuddy Black. Cuddy Red, best drop ship in the game, as uh, as the game stands right now, hands down. 175 for the Cuddy Blue. That's a pretty big price drop. How do you go from one, 100 dollars for like a kind of a, a trading ship, and you spend an extra 35, and then wham, just straight to 175. Couldn't have done 149, 150, you know. Um, but yeah, Cuddy Blue. With the with the quantum enforcement drive on it, and uh, I think that's gonna be a pretty cool ship when we get real bounty hunting in the game. But until until then, it still it still could be could have some use um, if you like pirating. Um, and of course the the caterpillar that's available for 175 today. Um, the vulture. So. Um, So the Vulture is a ship that I recommend buying. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me just let me just look here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, the Vulture, you get a Buccaneer, okay, and a Prospector. Is that what it said? Yes, a Buccaneer and a Prospector is a loaner for 140 bucks. So like, 
I'm pretty sure the prospector is, is $150. So... I, um, so $150. So like, if you own a prospector, just buy this. You'll get a free combat ship until the vulture comes out. And then you can always go back and buy the prospector later. I don't think they'll ever raise the price on the prospector. And it's always available. So like, melt that, get, you know, use that $10 maybe towards something else. 215 for the Corsair. Hmm. Mm. I love asymmetrical designs. I'll tell you what. Um, maybe I'll look look tomorrow to see if uh, if it's available. Um, War bond or whatever. Um, that's not bad though. That's uh, it's, it's not bad. It's it's a, it's a cool ship. It's probably my favorite Drake ship. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, all right, then we got the Drake Kraken that's, of course, sold out after like five minutes, probably less. Um, Kraken Warbond. Kraken ILW ver uh, variant, so all sold out. Um, Kraken Privateer. This is the trading one, kind of the Banning Merchantman. Um, uh, that's crazy. This is supposed to be like the Banning Merchantman. Uh, like competitor and it's it's so much more money it, it might be much larger i have no idea drake kraken conversion kit oh okay okay drake complete pack for 4200 how many whales out there are drake fans i don't know i don't know drake complete pack yeah oh okay okay all right, Drake Defense Con paint pack. You got the Polar, hate the Polar. And then some sort of black and red one. That looks pretty dope. I could rock that on the Cutty Black. Oh, cool, and they got one for the Dragonfly as well. Okay. Okay. All right, I think that is uh, the Drake uh, Pledge Tour for the day. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Drake Expo Hall. This month's ship giveaway is an LTI Nomad game package. There are six ways to enter, each giving you more points and a greater chance to win. Pro tip, the Redeem Twitch channel points can be done once every live stream. If you enjoy my channel, there are so many ways to support it, ranging from free options like Prime Gaming subscriptions and sending out for UEC in the verse, sub club subscriptions, merch, to more generous forms of support. Head over to subliminalschannel.tv to learn how. Your support in all forms makes this channel possible. Even your viewership, liking, and subscribing goes a long way. To continue watching, here's a video I think you may like. Here's a video YouTube thinks you may like. And until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.